I get asked a lot, oh, when did you start? And I just, uh, I always say I just never stopped. Like I've, I've done art since I was a kid. For me, art is just as natural as breathing. I see the world through this multicultural lens and my own experience as well as my own artwork, it really reflects that. Being Latino born in Buenos Aires, growing up in Miami, studying in New York, then going to study in Asia and Japan. My father's side of the background is Eastern European, Croatian, so even that sort of Slavic sense of calligraphy, the Cyrillic, it's stuff that I've really looked at visually to kind of take a lot of that, meld that into a lot of the practices that I have in my artwork. The gestural nature of the abstract strokes uh, and sort of the base of calligraphy is something key to a lot of my pieces. I've always had a passion for abstract expressionist art and it's something that I gravitated towards at a, at a really early age. For some reason, just as much as I would see kind of Japanese calligraphy and sort of Eastern tradition of calligraphy, it just, there was an expressive nature of movement and it's something that always spoke to me, even if I couldn't sort of read or understand it or it wasn't something that was literally translated or depicting anything. It's just something that resonated with me. I create a lot of my own brushes, and in my performances, I'm using these really big strokes and movements, so the artwork almost becomes a sort of sense of uh, choreography. It's almost like a dance. So when you're staring at the canvas, it's like the, the purest moment that an artist can have is like looking at this blank slate and figuring out like how do you apply your creativity and create something new and hopefully um, something that resonates with other people. So for me, when I look at it, I can almost visualize the movements and the steps or how I need to move my brush in order to create, let's say not a letter form, but a sort of a rhythm. Um, that's something that I really strive for in a lot of the work that I do. It is about allowing yourself to sort of create the environment for these happy accidents, to create the space or allow yourself a moment to where you can maybe do something unexpected and then step back and look at it and say, wow, that really works. Utilize it as a jumping off port and create something new.